A premise this insane should not result in a show this good. Hey, it's your boy. Timing is weird, but trust me, this show is without a doubt the most fun I've had watching an anime in a long time. It really has it all. Great animation, captivating music, 200 IQ, 5 head out place, the fields, a cute waifu, one eternity later. And to top it all off, an OP so good that skipping it should be considered an act of terrorism. If you have never heard of the show before, let me introduce you to the plot. This is Kong Ming, a genius tactician known throughout history. He dies. JK, this is an isekai, so he is reincarnated into modern day Shibuya on Halloween night, which is probably the wildest night of the year at the biggest party place in all of Japan. There, out of all things, he falls in love with EDM and pop music and decides to devote his vast intellect and knowledge of warfare to help the struggling artist Eiko fulfill her dream. What am I reading? What am I reading? It's the kind of plot that makes you lean back in your chair and reflect on what must have gone wrong to reach this point. And this absurd plot could have easily led to the show feeling gimmicky and all over the place. The question then becomes, why is it so damn good? There are a bunch of series that have wildly inconsistent quality when it comes to animation. One episode looking like the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel and the other well, looking more like Amber Heard's Rage Turd, but your boy Kongming has no such problems. It has consistently great animation with some scenes that are nothing short of beautiful, with most, if not all, of the standout scenes being tied to a musical performance. Which brings us to what I would consider the strongest point of this show. Making a good idol slash music anime is surprisingly tricky. Obviously, the music needs to be good. Huh. Human music. I like it. Otherwise, all you did was make a music anime with shitty music. And I hope I don't have to explain why that is a problem. But that in itself is not enough. Take Carol and Tuesday as an example. The music, fire. 10 out of 10. The variety of genres and just sheer amount of high quality songs is mind blowing. And I doubt there will be another show quite like this maybe ever. But the story became an absolute mess towards the end and the great music just couldn't make up for it. Now there are some anime that nailed both of these aspects. Let's take Your Lie in April as an example of this. I love the music, I love the story, but I didn't understand anything when the characters would talk about the musical performances. Like two characters could be performing the same damn piece and I honestly can't tell the difference. But meanwhile all the characters in the show would go. I do not have a deep understanding of music theory or music in general. And while I still thoroughly enjoyed the series, when this happens, it always makes me think. Are these guys being pretentious or is it all just flying over my head? In my eyes, your boy Kongming absolutely nails music and story. The music is probably the most varied and high quality since Carol and Tuesday. I mean, we got EDM. Acoustic. Rap. And judging by the trailer, also rock music. And don't get me started on the OP. I could talk about this OP for ages, it's just so fun. The ED is fire as well and definitely underappreciated. And while the story isn't the deepest, this show is a lighthearted comedy and I think it does this incredibly well. On top of that, there's a scene in this anime where we hear a rival artist performing and you can actually tell that she isn't that good. Holy shit, I know, I know. I'm not going to tell you that this show is doing anything out of this world or groundbreaking. It's a lighthearted comedy and therefore designed to be as fun as possible. But that doesn't mean there is no heart behind it. After thinking about the show for a while, I realized that your boy Kongming tries to show us all the different ways in which music manages to connect us. Eiko was touched by music and it helped her through depression. Kapitaijin found a way to express himself through music. And Kongming? Well, as a man from a different country and an era long gone, music helped him come to terms with his new reality and come to love this new world he found himself in. And if there's one thing the show is trying to tell you, is that music is powerful. It breaks down language barriers, social barriers, and sometimes even the barriers of time and space.